Hey, it's Mike, and today I'd like to take a look at two different 3D printing companies to see which one might be best for your portfolio. Now, both companies um, are in the 3D printing space. However, they're kind of a little different with their approaches. So the two companies I'm looking at are Nano Dimensions, is stock symbol trades on the NASDAQ on symbol NNDM, and the other company is X1, also trades on the NASDAQ on the symbol X. O N E. So let me take a look at Nano Dimensions first because it is the larger company. Currently has a market cap of $2.3 billion. Yesterday it was down about 1%. Look over the past month, like a lot of the small cap stocks, it has taken a beating. However, if you go over the past six months, you can see this was a stock that was literally trading at $1.52. It had moved as high as almost $18 before being cut in half. However, it does look like it's beginning to build a base from recovery. It may have a chance to move higher and challenge these highs before the end of the year. Um, as you know, with these sort of small tech uh, companies, they are very, very volatile. So if you get into a stock like this, you have to be able to handle 50% um, drawdowns. Now, the one thing you should know about, about Nano Dimensions is that they have raised about a billion dollars through eight direct offerings. So they are sitting on a lot of cash and they're very stable. Now, if you look at what um, Nano Dimensions does is they basically print these um, what they call additive manufacturing printed electronics. So they're involved in printed electronics, which is different from what X1 does. However, you can see there are a lot of different applications that they can use. If you have a, a business that needs a lot of, you know, everything from circuit boards to microchips, they can, you know, the Nano Dimensions Dragonfly machines will be able to, to print these out pretty quickly. Now, X1 is a much smaller company. It has a market cap of under $700 million. It was up over 3%. So X1 is usually going to be more volatile um, than Nano Dimensions just because of its size. You look over the past month, it too has been cut pretty hard. However, over the past six months, you see this is a stock that has risen uh, pretty significantly. So after you have these big rises, you can expect for it to get some selling. But it has looked like, like Nano Dimensions that <clears throat> it might be able to build a base here and move up and maybe challenge its highs uh, before the end of the year. Now, X1 is involved in sort of these more of a, uh, not, it's non-electronic printing. They use sand, they use metal to print prototypes. So you can imagine if you're trying to create a new prototype, you could use X1 to sort of 3D print different shapes to see which one works best with your prototype. So they, they are non-electronic uh, manufacturing. So you could definitely see they're in two very different spaces. Now, the one thing I would do is I would take the larger, more established company like Nano Dimensions and make that a core holding and then make X1 maybe a smaller holding. So maybe uh, Nano Dimensions like 3% of your portfolio and then X1 is 1% of your portfolio. And that, that'll sort of smooth out the volatility if you believe in sort of the 3D printing story. However, I do think it's nice to own both companies. But like I said, I would not own both of them of, on an equal weight. Um, because I think the volatility levels are going to be much different moving forward. I think Nano Dimensions is going to move really well, but it's not going to have the craziness that X1 will have. But I do think both of them are satisfying two very different markets in the 3D printing sector. So it might be good to hold a basket of both of them. But like I said, I would put a little more money into Nano Dimensions. So that's what my comparison video for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. So be sure to leave a like and go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. I do multiple daily updates on stocks, options, and stock train strategies. Thanks a lot. Bye.